Hello there, welcome back to the channel. This is the part 8 of the .NET Core microservice with APP series. In this video, we are going to see how to configure the identity service on the Angular application. Let's get started. Before starting the identity server, I want to uh, tell you about an announcement which was made in the uh, APP repo. It was an announcement to replace the identity server, so things which I do right now might change um, around November. So they are planning to change the uh, identity server uh, in favor of OpenEdit, but uh, that's part of uh, ABP6. And uh, for now, uh, the identity server is the only option available. Uh, when that happens, I will try to do another video on how to do uh, this with OpenEdit as a, a server. Okay, that out of the way. Um, let's start with uh, fixing the identity server so the first step we have to do is uh, we have to add the references to all the services and uh, the shared project shared project so to do that go to dependencies add and then uh, look for the uh, entity framework core project uh, in all the services so i chose uh, administration and then identity service and the SAS service along with hosting so once we added all these we have to add them as a dependency here in the uh, identity server module. I have added um, the code here. So just copy it and replace these modules. Okay, we have updated the depends on. Uh, and then the next step is updating the connection string. So we added the modules and then the modules will actually look for the connection string. So we go to the app settings and then update the connection string. And once that is done, we have to update the course um, URLs because um, the services uh, will, all the services, uh, including the Angular app, will contact the Auth server, which is the server we are configuring, and we should allow them to contact it. So I'm adding 4200, that's the Angular app, and then we're adding 7001, 7002, and 7003. These are administration, identity, and then SaaS services. And I will update the self URL to 7000 because that is the port for the auth server. The next step is just try to build and run and then see what happens. So I will build it and let's run it. Okay, the identity server is launching and we have a login page. I will try to log in with our default admin and password and then let's see if the login works. Okay, the login works. I want to go and check out the account. Yes, both of them work. Now, the next step is to configure the angular app so if you go to the angular app uh you have to it's it's in the same location as identity server so um you go to open in uh, file explorer and if you go one step back you will find the angular application and uh, you just open it uh, in vs code that's what i have done uh, and you just go to this location so angular app angular source and environment and in the environment you will see a typescript file so this is what uh, we are going to replace so i would recommend delete this and then copy this file and then paste it here so there are a few changes we have made so there is this auth config which is we are pointing to our auth server and then the api is pointing to the yarp uh, port yarp is the gateway we are um, using and then that's running at 7500 so all the requests will go to yarp and then we are adding few scopes so identity server administration service SaaS service as scopes along with all the normal scopes so that's actually pretty much it so once this is done make sure you go you install all the packages using the command yarn so yarn will um, install all the packages to run you just do yarn start this will run the application so while we start this we have to go and then start all the other services as well because we need our um, um we need our uh, identity server and also the gateway and all the other services up and running to test the angular application so what we will do is yes i stopped the identity service and then started uh, the tie and the tie will collect all the information and run all the services at once okay Tai has launched and we have all the services running. So we have our identity service running, gateway, administration service, identity service, and SaaS service running. Once all these are running, just come and let's refresh localhost 4200 and 
you would see yes the angular app has started and you have an angular app running successfully i will try to log in okay the login appears admin okay we are getting an internal server error when we log in to check the error let's go and then uh, see what's going on in the administration service and here it says the request is executing but yeah unable to obtain the configuration from system.sync so it says it was not able to contact the uh it was not able to contact the auth server because the authority is wrong so i think we missed one step here um in the blog post where uh, where i have to update the authority so this is the step we missed so let's go and fix this so i will update the authority in all the um, all the services so fixed in sas and also in okay so we've updated authority in all the services and then rerun all the services again perfect now try again now we have the welcome screen with all the menus and uh, we can see when we get the roles yes we can get the roles can we get the users how about permissions yes permissions are working can we edit it yes so everything is working ha huh. we have a 403 in tenant management okay the tenant management is not working that means we missed some step somewhere the tenant management is at the sas service and the sas service has the sas service is missing the administration service so i think we have to add a reference to the administration service and then bring the administration service as a dependency because um, this is where the feature management is and it is essential that um, the um, SaaS service knows about the administration service location and i think we also need to update the connection string and okay Once this is done um it should automatically pick up but it says it's waiting okay let's restart it again um yeah this should fix the SaaS service let's see what happens okay we are not seeing any errors anymore i think that means the SaaS service is working as well let's try to change the features yes the features show up and can we create a new tenant we can create a new tenant let's try that test one mm, test.com and when you click save here we have an error that means we still have a problem with SAS service the problem with the SAS service is that there is no rabbitmq available so when you try to create a tenant it will try to publish an event to the uh, rabbitmq and how it publishes is that um it publishes an event saying that there is a tenant created and we can react to that uh, event so we have to get rid of the um errors i think in the we have to get rid of this um abp event bus which is actually trying to publish events which are um not configured right now so that's what we will do uh in the next video we will see how to um handle these uh, rapid mq events and um how to finalize this um workflow so we are creating the tenant in the sas service but the permissions are available in the administration service but the users are available in the identity service so uh, this event which is published by the sas server should be captured by the identity service and then the administration service and then they should prepare the tenant uh, with proper permissions and also with the proper user um, in the next video we will um, handle those two scenarios and um, yeah that's pretty much it for this video um, um i hope you liked it and then uh, if you liked it give it a thumbs up and uh, and subscribe to the channel otherwise i will see you in the next video bye